Are you worried about what's going to happen after the election? Here's four things that you need to do to prepare for the aftermath of whatever outcome happens during the election. Number one, you need to have some food on hand. It doesn't have to be all the food, it just needs to be some food. If there's social unrest, if there's any kind of disturbance or supply chain break in your area, you need to have food on hand so that you can feed your family. Buy a few extra cans every single time you go to the grocery store. A 25 pound bag of rice goes a long ways, as well as a 25 pound bag of dried beans, but make sure you have some food on hand. Number two, you need to have water water on hand. We've already seen cyber attacks against some of the water supplies in some areas in our country. So you need to have some water on hand. Buy cases of bottles or buy it in the gallon. It doesn't matter how you get the water or how you store the water, just get some water. And remember, it takes one gallon of water per day per person in order for you to do basic sanitation, drink, and cook. So make sure you're storing enough. Maybe even create a water catchment system outside by just simply taking a 50 gallon drum and pouring a downspout into it. It still needs to be purified and filtered, but it is water that's available if there's a time of crisis. Number three, medication. Over-the-counter medications as well as your prescription medication. Ask your doctor if he can prescribe you a 90-day prescription rather than just your normal 30-day prescription and have that on hand because we've seen a social unrest happens that for some reason pharmacies seem to be a place that are attacked first. So make sure that you have your supplies that you need in order to care for your basic needs. And the last thing is self-defense. We don't know what's going to happen in the election. We don't know what's going to happen after the election. But but if you have ever considered being a gun owner, now is the time to make that purchase. You need to be able to defend yourself. It's much harder for someone to take something that you already have rather than try to buy something after they have halted production of it. So make sure if you're looking for a firearm, you go ahead and make that purchase and get that in your hands right now. If you're looking for other steps on how to be more prepared, I've created a guide called the six steps to being prepared. If you'll comment the word prepared right there in the comments below this video, I'll make sure that I send you a link to that and you can have it absolutely free.